Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Polyphonic Glide utilizing the Prophet 6 or the OB6. This is what Polyphonic Glide sounds like. So what's happening is that when I'm playing these chords, every note is actually moving with glide. It's a desirable sound in many cases. It's a unique sound. To attain the sound, you have to master one technique on the Prophet 6, and that is the ability to play six notes at one time, at all times. Meaning when you're playing your chords, six notes always have to be engaged in order for the glide to work. So I play three notes in my left hand and three notes in my right hand. And not only that, I actually have the sustain pedal pressed during the whole time. And as long as you kind of roll towards the top, it'll make the voices glide correctly. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you only play five notes at a time, meaning I'm gonna play three in my left and two in my right. You don't get the same effect. So it's important to always remember to play three notes in both hands. And the way I kind of started doing that is by like playing upper structures or what are known as triads, you know, in the right hand. So like I'm playing a D minor triad in my left hand and a C major triad in my right hand and just going down the inversions. And then down a half step. And then of course, once I've caught the chords or the notes with the sustain pedal, I'm free to then do filter sweeps or add vibrato with the mod wheel and to also adjust the pitch with the pitch bend wheel. So for example, like one thing I love to do is just grab a chord. If you saw my previous synth tip video, I showed you how to use the mod wheel to control the cutoff. In this technique, we're actually just using the board as is, meaning we're going to be adjusting the cutoff in real time with the actual cutoff knob. So, but that's not bad because then you've got three places to adjust tone and pitch. Cutoff, modulation, and pitch bend wheel. So. The glide settings I have are on FTA, which is going to give me a specific time of glide between each voice. And not only that, it's legato, meaning if I play staccato, no glide, but if I play legato. So it's very useful, because if you have it the other way, that can be not very musical. So it's best, for me at least, my playing style, I like to have it so that I can choose to play. You can use this technique with pretty much any patch. I'm just using a sawtooth wave, but sky's the limit with this technique. You can apply it to almost any patch. If you've made your own presets or if you're playing other presets, mess around with the glide and see what happens. Um, and just remember when you're doing this that you need to play six notes and the easiest way to start is by playing a triad on your left and a triad on your right and using inversions. Alrighty, see you next time.